Hi everyone, welcome to Ride Guide. I'm Joanna Meyerkiewicz. Three hours west of Calgary, Alberta is the small, hardworking town of Golden, British Columbia. The area is known for its steep and deep snow inbounds and in the backcountry. So we're going to go catch up with the Kicking Horse Freeride team, go sledding, and talk to the Big Mountain Canada Productions crew that puts it all on tape. Check it out. Hi, I'm Mike McPhee, the Marketing Projects Manager here at Kicking Horse Mountain Resort on a beautiful snowy morning. Today we're going to be hitting some of our well-known shoots on Redemption Ridge, CPR Ridge and Terminator Ridge. Terminator holds four big high alpine shoots called Truth, Consequence and Glory. 1,500 vertical feet starting off in uh, some really nice rock, ending up in some big wide open fans full of dry champagne powder. a big mountain resort. We, uh, we have the second longest vertical in uh, Canada, uh, fourth longest in North America, and we are known for our uh, steep and deep terrain. Well, the terrain here at Kitty North is on the bigger scale, big lines, cliffs, lots of open glades, steeper stuff, steeper than average. Generally, the type of skier and rider that, uh, that come to Kicking Horse are a little bit more advanced, uh, a big mountain skier and snowboarder. I moved here for the mountain, for Kicking Horse, uh, just because of the huge terrain it's got and not very many people. It's a lot of fun, probably the best inbounds terrain you can find anywhere. But what makes it the best inbounds terrain is probably it's just big vertical, tons of shoots everywhere. You can hit different shoots all day if you want. Lots of rock to hop off, lots of trees, nice and spaced out. Yeah, just big, long, tiring runs. You got butterflies in your stomach. You're nervous with dry mouth. Lock jaw, stage fight, writer's block, time out. Grab the mic, apply force. Light it like July 4th. The sound of the crowd gets me high like I'm on time warp. Uh, the Kicking Horse Freeride team um, was started this year. It gives riders a chance to uh, promote themselves. McPhee put the team together this year uh, of a bunch of riders around Golden that he felt uh, had good attitudes and were pretty stoked on the hill and uh, representing the hill. Kicking Horse Fear Eye team, great bunch of local kids. Uh, we're helping them out, um, helping them get some exposure with their, uh, with their skiing and snowboarding careers and also uh, giving us some models to work with for video and photo shoots. Um, it's been a, it's, it's a first year, so uh, we're just kind of uh, treading new water here, and uh, hopefully it'll lead to bigger and better things in the future. So there's about eight of us on the Kicking Horse Freeride team, and uh, basically, they selected them from people that have been around here for a while, been riding the hill for a while, and uh, that are into, you know, shooting and riding and filming and that whole deal, and gonna give the hill some good press and put a good name to it. Oh, uh, that's Ryan Johannesson. That's his first uh, real true cover shot. The cover of Forced, Forced Gazette, local uh, golden rag, uh, bent take on the straight truth. We have none other but our hometown hero. Ryan Johannesson on the cover. It's good to see a softer side of Ryan. Ryan has a soft side. You know, a lot of people think he's all metal and rocker, big cliffs, but he's really a, a socky at heart and he dressed up as Cupid. Lover boy of Golden, I guess, right now. If you will, this is my pride and joy.
idea. Uh, the mountain's really supportive of, uh, of the free ride team and what we're about and what we're doing. They open up lines that you know haven't been skied all season, but they, they know that we're capable of. Sometimes you get treats, you get to go up to lines and ski them before they're open to the public, and that's, that's really the draw. I know some of the locals might be mad for the whole free ride team and uh, us getting the chance to ride things that uh, haven't been ridden before or before they have the shot to. But like I'm like 120% local, so. You're a true local. Yeah, I'm a true local, so. <laughs> if any locals bitching about uh, me, sc me snagging their lines, well, I'll go back to Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Tim Gray, I live here in Golden, I'm a Kicking Horse local. The one thing I really like about it is that there's a lot of variety here. Well, I've been skiing here for, this is, I would consider my fourth straight season, and I'm positive that I haven't even hit every single run that's in bounds. The biggest advantage of this mountain, I'd have to say, is, uh, well, the size of it, huge with a lot of advanced terrain on it and the lack of people. Hardly ever any lift lines during the week, really quiet, just get down here and walk right back onto the gondola. We have dry champagne powder, which falls on a fairly regular basis. And uh, as, as you can see today, it's uh, dry, deep, and lower. We've had one of the best Januaries that I can remember. You know, this, this week we've had, I think it was like 15 on top and then 20 and then 13 and today we got another 15 or something. So there's been pow almost every single day. We crush your face. Well, uh, my full-time gig is, uh, is here at Kicking Horse uh, in, the, in the marketing department. So uh, photography is a bit of a secondary thing for me at the moment, but uh, I get out to, as much as I can. McPhoto? <laughs> McPhoto rules! Well, the kids call me McPhoto. Uh, the nickname stems from, well, my last name's McPhee. I take photos. Mike McPhee as a photographer is one of my favorite to work with. He's always excited, likes to go out, check out new zones, and shoot all sorts of different stuff. He's got a lot of ideas and yeah, doesn't whine too bad about the cold either. I, I came to Golden after uh, riding Kicking Horse, fell in love with this mountain and uh, the valley here. Amazing backdrops. Couldn't ask for better scenic backdrops for ski and snowboard photography. I plan to be taking photos uh, for a long time. I. Uh, I, I, I just love being out in nature, hanging out with my friends, taking photos, and uh, you know, pub getting published is sometimes a secondary thing, but I uh, uh, just love being in the action and, uh, and watching good riders and skiers, or, or bikers for that matter, uh, pull off uh, crazy stunts. It's, uh, it's an adrenaline rush just for me watching it through the lens, and that's a, that's a lot of the allure for sure. Well, the poor man here, the poor man spent 80 grand on the paper that hangs on his wall. Next to his bowling ball. The poor man, the poor man spent 80 grand on the paper that hangs on his wall. Next to his bowling ball. The poor man, the poor man gets our jobs to pay off when we can. Well, we've had a, a great couple days of snow here at Kicking Horse. Uh, over 70 centimeters uh, in the last week, probably 30 or 40 in the last two days. 
uh, blowing in dry, deep powder everywhere. The upper bowls and shoots have been fantastic. Uh, pretty much couldn't ask for better filming or shooting conditions. Um, the Kicking Horse Freeride team kicked it up a notch and uh, proved their worth and uh, got some great shots. Uh, we had a great lunch today at Eagle's Eye, team, team lunch, and uh, it's, it really has been an awesome couple of days. The town of Golden's probably uh, 15k down the road from here, and uh, it's pretty mellow still. It's growing slowly, but it's still pretty calm. On Thursday nights, uh, they have jam night at the local bar, The Taps, uh, which everyone comes out for, and sometimes there's a lineup for. It's a lot of locals show up and uh, sh share a good cheer and their talents as well. It's uh, the shot skis go around, and yeah, it's a good time. Uh, lots of uh, local faces, good scene, and uh, yeah, lots of beer. It's the Golden Taps, Golden BC, you know, anything can go on, anything can happen. The powder is making everyone crazy. at Motor Tech. Um, it's my parents' shop. We just loaded up the sleds and we're going snowmobiling out to Quartz Creek. Uh, we just got to get some gas and we're good to go. You folks are actually gonna lucked out on uh, the conditions that Golden has to offer right now. Uh, over the last few days we've uh, received at least uh, three feet of fresh powder snow up the top. And from the reports I've been hearing back from the guys that have been out there, it should be generally a really good day. are we? We are... Uh, <coughs> That's interesting. So, uh... <laughs> well, right now we're in Quartz Creek, which is about half an hour northwest, I believe, of Golden. Yeah, lots of sledding been happening, lots of snow in the face, and yeah, just trying to struggle through the flats, but the steeps have been really fun. Judges give that one. Big. I think Italy gave that an 8.5. Russia gave it a 9. Size wise, I give that up there on the well, scale. Got... Amplitude oh. was 9. The, the style was about a 6, unfortunately. This area is uh, Quartz Creek is uh, for beginner to advance sledders and snowboarders as well. The train <clears throat> is Rolly Hills um, to Alpine Bowls, so you have a little bit of everything. First stop's gonna be at the cabin. Uh, we'll probably have a light lunch, 
It's about a 20 minute, 15 minute sled ride from the parking lot. Quartz Cabin has kind of been a building process. It's put here, well, started a few years back. And uh, they truck up firewood, so you never have to worry about that. You just gotta worry about chopping it. Hey, uh, the wood is mightier than the guy with the ax. Got to keep hammering. Oh, yeah, this is my piece. And there's a pretty sweet wood burning stove with an oven conversion on top. So it's pretty cool. You could come up, cook up smokies, burgers, whatever you want to do. So, sledding, if you don't give enough gas, you'll sink for sure, which is even spending a lot of time digging out sleds. Not exactly. Keep going, Alvy. Yeah, we're, we're busy. We're busy doing interviews. So Tim, uh, when so, a fellow sledder gets stuck, such as over there, what do you do? Well, normally, you know, you, you be a good guy out in the backcountry. You gotta look out for your fellow fellow man on his machines. But seeing as that's my brother, you let him rot. <laughs> Oh, the day was super fun. We had a, a mix of snow and cloud. It was, uh, it was productive. We had lots of deep lines and had good, good fun with all the friends. Ryan, do you want to wrap this up? Well, I think the uh, Target big story Walmart. here today, the lesson is uh, don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Definitely. Because uh, you die. Yeah. And uh, you can't snowboard when you're dead. Yeah. yeah. And That's about it. A day two of sledding. We are in Gorman's Creek, uh, British Columbia really close to uh, Golden BC, and um, it's a great day out here. Really deep snow. Big Mountain Canada Productions is kind of a little company we're trying to start here in Golden. It's made up of me, my brother Chris, Ryan Johannesson, Kristen Furtney, and you know, a couple of our friends. And basically we're just filming ourselves in Golden backcountry sledding. Trying to shoot uh, a lot more backcountry free ride kind of stuff, natural terrain. Most of it being like 80, 90 percent sled access. You know, you spend all day sledding to an area, hiking to an area, scoping it out. When you're going out with the object of filming and getting stuff done, it's a lot harder than people think. It's fun to see, like, the film and then to see the final product at the end of the season. It's pretty rewarding. The Winter DVD, uh, myself and Ryan Johansson and my brother Tim put together uh, last year, and it's just um, kind of a cross-section of all the riders in Golden, uh, and we've kind of formed a group called Big Mountain Canada Productions. So we have a couple cameras and some editing equipment and stuff, so we're trying to put some footage together and make some movies. Like, I've always enjoyed filming and editing and doing all that kind of stuff, and I don't know, once you've just been, been snowboarding for so long, it's kind of fun to, uh, to get into that part of it too and try and have something fun to look at at the end of the year and remember things by and
No, there's no getting rich off it, but there's fun off it, and there's, yeah, having fun. Uh, we're going to film a lot more and, uh, and maybe some new locations and try to get even, uh, even more of a video going, maybe some sponsors to get it up and running. So that's the future plan. This is the best, best January that I can remember. You know, after the last couple of winters when it hasn't been that good and you're just trying to find POW everywhere and now it's just everywhere, so. Really golden, that's, uh, it's on the tip of the iceberg as far as development and recreation and uh, we're hoping that as it goes that uh, everybody can enjoy uh, the backcountry that we have here to offer. Ride Guide has been brought to you by Solomon. Fuel your instinct. And by Bonfire, what we ride.